In this Caden Live tutorial I will show you how to adjust the brightness and contrast of a video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Caden Live. A couple of links to my beginners tutorials are included in the description below. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought this clip into Caden Live and although it's not too bad, it's still quite dark in places. Um, I've already done one for Blender, so I might as well go through this the same similar way. Um, a lot of older buildings tend to keep the light low to protect uh, pictures, so one of the problems I get is in some of these old buildings. It can be a bit dark. Um, this isn't the worst one, but the, you, the darker the image, uh, the video is the more grainy it looks but this one actually does work quite well using this system so I'm just gonna go to an area that sort of gives me a rough idea of what I'm looking at now in Caden Live you want to be make sure you've got the effects uh, tab selected to the bottom here and what you need to do is left click on color and left click on color correction so the first one I would bring in is actually under color correction there's a little button here that says brightness so hold your left mouse button down on it and drag it over your video clip and then under color left click on contrast or hold your left mouse button down on contrast and bring this over your video clip now I'm using version 19 um, and one of the things that um, 19 at present seems to be doing for me is a con setting the contrast way too high so I would just drag this down to about a hundred for now just to see what we're looking at so I've taken the contrast down to 100, 110, in fact that's probably too much um, and all I need to do now is just drag this brightness up and gradually adjust the contrast until I've got something that I'm reasonably happy with and I think that is probably be about right. If you want to uh, adjust the the sort of the amounts um, a bit more accurately, if you place your pointer over the boxes, you can actually roll your middle mouse and, and uh, change the settings. So I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know about you, but I think that's a vast improvement on the original. So that's all there is to it. As I said before at the beginning, I've assumed you know how to edit or at least render your video after you've brought it into the timeline track. Um, so that's all I can really show you. Um, the other thing I'm using is proxy clips because if you've ever tried to edit large videos, um, especially on a computer that isn't super fast you'll understand the lag problems that you get so worthwhile looking at a beginners tutorial on any form of editing and personally I wouldn't even touch an editor that doesn't work with proxy clips um, that's all there is to it thank you for watching cheers